What's up? Today I'll be doing the Hut for Teacher intro that Jason Becker did. The original we all know is that tapping thing, right? Jason Becker did it with sweeping arpeggios. So I'll go over that. So let's look at the chords. So we got A minor, we got D major, and a D minor. And then we got uh, G major, G minor, and C major. What Jason uh, uses a lot is these one octave arpeggios, right? They look like this. So basically, you, got, you have your root, minor third, fifth, and octave. And if you do it major, and the way you pick this is always down, down, hammer, and then up, down. So down, down, hammer, up, down. And playing six notes per beat, so it becomes a six double. One, two, three, four, five, six. And because of you know how complicated it is, we'll move to uh, position. So I'll do it up here. This is the 17th fret, 15 and 19. So that, that'll be the first shape. Then he goes to D major below, also on the 17th fret. 16, 19. Then it goes to D minor and the extended. This is also the shape that uh, Ingve uses. But this will be combined with an, a big shift to another shape, which is this guy. And then you slide down to that. And then he does one shape here, and another shape here, which is G major, and then G minor, and then C major. So if I play this all in time, somewhat in time, 16 note triplet, but when he goes to the D minor, he goes really fast, like eight notes per beat, See all that happens very quickly. And then usually when you come down here, it's so fast that so you basically just hammer it. And then here you resume to, with that shape. So until we get to that point, you got Major. Now comes the crazy D minor. And then he goes uh, G minor. And then C major. Which is, you start not on the root but on the fifth. So here you got you have to bar two strings. So I'll play it somewhat in time. Here you go. 